public transport because the metro station is closed everywhere. Well, Francesca, it's good of you to join us. Francesca Visa, thank you very much. Um, so that's the scene, as you can see, in the moments after the explosion. Confusion still as to what happened, but it does appear now that it was one explosion and it went off as the train was um, traveling between the two stations. Well, let's hear now from uh, Frida Rostomova, who's also in St. Petersburg, outside one of those stations. I saw uh, many people uh, live in the center of the city. There's a huge traffic now. Uh, and um, the, the, uh, the um, subway is uh, closed. Uh, and there are many helicopters and ambulances and police here. Uh, all the uh, injured people uh, are now evacuated to the hospitals. Uh, so, yeah. And it happened about um, uh, 14, uh, 30. Uh, it was uh, the exact time when uh, the President Putin uh, met uh, his counterpart from Belarus, President Lukashenko. Uh, uh, the, it is confirmed that it was um, an explosion uh, and um, people around here, they say uh, that uh, it's uh, uh, something terrible because uh, things like this never happened to in uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, but still people are used to that because many terror attacks in, uh, on metro station uh, happened in Moscow and other cities. Farida, I know you may be on your phone, but tell us what's happening around you. I've seen some police officers. Are there still quite a lot of people around? Yes, uh, there are a lot of people here, a lot of ambulances, uh, a lot of uh, uh, just... Um, uh, people uh, around who uh, are a lot of journalists um, people um, the pol police uh, t uh, tells people to uh, leave uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the center of the city um, and to not to uh, leave their houses because it's, it's quite dangerous now do you want to just turn your phone around or the camera around and show us the scene yeah. where you are yes yes sure just a second. That's fine. We understand that you've just rushed there and you're showing us what's at the scene, I think. There we go. Um, and describe what we're seeing. So this is, uh, you see the, these yellow ambulance cars? Uh, this is the exact place, um, the uh, entrance to the station. So you can see many, many cars here. Uh, it's, uh, these are, you can see the ambulance cars. They are leaving now. Um, the cars of rescuers, uh, helicopters, uh, many, many police. Yes, yeah, so. You've shown us some of the ambulances. I think they said there yes. were as many as 17. You've presumably, in the minutes after the blast, you could hear sirens. Uh, yes, yes, I can hear sirens. Uh, I can show you the, the rescuers. They are now leaving the station. Um, so everybody's been evacuated now, do you think, Farida? Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, everyone's now evacuated. It's confirmed. Uh, and uh, they say that um, almost all the injured people are now in uh, central hospitals. Frida Rostomova talking to my colleague, Philip Thomas, on BBC World a little earlier.